I want to talk about this new district attorney's program uh, because we, we, it's posted all on social media. Kim Og herself came out, did a nice little uh, puff piece video on it. And uh, Julio, you said you put somebody on it today, in fact. It's, what, what, what is the actual name of it? So the name is uh, Clean and Green. I wonder if they sat around a table, much like this, and said, hey, we should call the marijuana program Clean and Green. That'd be hilarious. And then somebody said, that's a good idea. We should kind of mock it a little bit and put them on it. The program's called Clean and Green. And essentially, individual post-charge. So for some reason or another. So after they've been charged. They're charged and in court. They, they, they're arrested, okay. bonded out, or unsecured bond, or pr would bond out. Now we have a court. Which begs the question, why weren't they issue the summons. So the the so, it's post charge. The pretrial intervention is, f uh, or the the first chance program for marijuana, uh, less than a big old sack. You should be getting a, uh, a, a an intervention, so to say. Right. Or the first chance program. You take a class. This case dismissed. You call it a day. And you don't even. There's no. There's no charges filed. There's no. Uh, Supposedly, there's no record, and it's over. And you can get the first chance over and over and over and over. However, what we've been seeing is, is individuals coming to court who are charged with marijuana, who by all accords should have been given the first chance program. Or the second chance program. Or the second or third or fourth, fifth chance program. <laughs> but they were arrested anyways, and now they're in court. And for whatever reason, they weren't offered this first chance program, which we saw a piece by Brian Rogers are that there, there's actually there's certain agencies that are not uh, complying with the first chance program and they're and they're, they're still arresting people or, or filing other types of charges. So for whatever reason, this individual is back in court on That's a the answer on a marijuana charge who should have been given the first chance program or second chance or third chance or fourth chance program. Um, but they've been arrested, they've, they've made some sort of bond or have been given some sort of bond or in court. The program requires the individual to get a 60-day reset, to pay $240, to complete six hours of community service, I suppose cleaning up the bayous or cleaning and greening, whatever that means. I thought it would be brown and green. Brown and green, right? <laughs> I really kind of <laughs> not a lot of green down by the bayou. <laughs> not a lot of green, right? Coming back to court, so you complete your program, you pay your 240, you clean up whatever you're going to clean and green it. Probably high when you're doing it, or not, whatever. And you come to court with a certificate saying that you're you're done with the program, and at that point the district attorney's hands you a dismissal, and at that point you can apply for an immediate expunction of your possession That's of right. marijuana charge. Huh. Now, it's different from the first chance program in the sense that number one, you're arrested. Uh, number two, you have to pay a $240 fee versus the first chance program, which I believe is 100 or 150. I think it's 130. 130 fee. Um, to the DA's office? Yeah. To the district attorney's office. So this one's a little bit, it's, it's more expensive. And there's a record of your arrest, there's a record of a charge, and so that individual is going to have to file an expunction in Harris County, it's $292 uh, to file the expunction, and then you go through that process and such. Which makes no mention of attorney's fees. Right, which makes no mention of attorney's <coughs> fees, that's correct. The, so I put someone on today, nobody knew anything. So the, how'd you put them on? I mean, if nobody knew Dan. anything, and they you put it Vogue. <laughs> well, like, so it, it's a brand new program. Yeah. Uh, I think they just rolled it out a couple of weeks ago. And um, I just saw the video on social media today. Yeah. Well, well I, th so I think it's yesterday is when she. Yeah, I think it's, oh. it started, but they were starting to. Behind. I've got a lag, I guess, in my, we my do. timeline. They were starting to, to send out um, the informational packet to all the prosecutors. 
I think like maybe two to three weeks ago because I had a prosecutor show me one. We were talking about it after court one day. Um, and they were kind of griping about it a little bit because it, it also works for the people. So we've been, since Kim Ong took office and we got that for the first chance program, there's been all these people who have been put on it. But there's also been a lot of people who haven't done their part on it. And um, the DA's office is finally coming around and filing charges on the people who didn't do what they were supposed to do. Because that's part of the deal was if you do this, nothing's going to happen to you. But if you don't, we're going to file a charge. Right, JB? My guy today, yes, that has been the historical pattern. But my guy today wasn't offered the first chance in the first place. And, that, and that's the other situation. So now, you, but, but they're offering this program to people like what JV had and now also to the people who messed up or refused to do their first chance program. And now they're coming in and they're getting the, the clean and green, which a lot of the prosecutors are like, well, they're getting like a second or third chance out of this because they messed up the first chance program and now we're gonna give them clean and green.